All right, folks, welcome back. It's Dave here, a.k.a. The Gypsy, part two of our Google Webmaster Tool Series. This time we're looking at site health, second section over there. So let's uh, get things started and jump right in. All right, folks, so we're going to head over to the health section, uh, as we said. And we're going to go to crawl errors, first thing we're going to work on. Um, fairly simple. Uh, generally speaking, uh, most of the stuff you're going to find in here is actually... Uh, Gonna be 404s and stuff like that. Uh, DNS couldn't communicate. Server connectivity. <laughs> kind of strange actually that it's saying it uh, timed out or whatever because, uh, in fact, that when you click on these, <laughs> it's saying that it's all right. So I don't know. Can you trust these? I'm not entirely sure, but uh, we'll get past that. So you got web and mobile, fairly straightforward, and uh, this gives you a sense. And here, here is when you're doing a health check. This is kind of what we're looking at, you know. Is this going up or down? Obviously, in this case, we've been fixing some crawl errors and things of that nature. So it's not finding anything new. That doesn't mean the stuff's not in the list. As you can see, there's, you know, 625 rows in there. But generally speaking, you always want to see this guy going down and see things uh, getting better, not worse. Um, priority, nothing big there. So here we go. We're going to find 404s generally are the stuff you're going to see the most of. And uh, in the instance of Search News Central here, You've got all kinds of wonky ones that are either malformed URLs, probably internally, or they're going to be stuff like this. This local paid inclusion. Um, if you click on this, it'll should give you an idea of the URL that it's been looking for. Um, you can click on this, of course, and make sure. Always make sure. Don't uh, don't go messing about until you're actually sure it's a 404. All right, indeed, it is a 404. Okay, so this is one we got to fix. It's always nice too, by the way, uh, if your site has it be able to refer them to other pages so okay well we want to know where this is coming from so you can fetch this google bot if you want if you're not sure but in this case obviously and you can mark as fixed once you fixed it okay um where's a couple other examples we can give you mm -mm 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 -mm. let's go down here i have a google.com what's this and apparently this is a url that somehow has uh, ended up in the system and it's linked to from this page here so you know, in simplest terms, you probably want to go to this page and find out uh, why that's doing it, because it's obviously an internal URL that's been broken or somebody's malformed at some point. So, uh, usually we'll click through to the page, um, go onto the page, look around, try and find out where that URL is coming from, fix that URL, obviously. Um, I don't think I'd really go in and 301 redirect this one in this case, because it is an internal one. Um, the ones seem to be okay here, so that's great. Um, I would just go fix it on the page, mark is fixed, and uh, move right along. But if, of course, you know, if it is coming from an external page into your site, then definitely I would suggest going into your CMS or your HD access uh, and 301 that page before marking it as fixed. You can mark as fixed and batch there, and then just, you know, come back and keep an eye on those. Like I said, this is a, this part's kind of weird. <laughs> it's like DNS errors, but obviously we don't, uh, seem to have any problems so I'm not sure why it's saying it has issues but uh, can't hurt to check that anyways so yeah uh, we spent a lot of time in here you can recruit some ex external uh, page rank that's coming in uh, link equity etc and next on the list is crawl stats so let's uh, head over there all right things are pretty simple in here guys first things are concerning gals my apologies uh, essentially what they're showing us here is uh, the various crawl stats for pages crawl today um you know and obviously the bandwidth they're using on it again uh, what you're kind of looking for is overall site health so you're, you're comparing you know your indexation along with the crawling if you're if you're having a high number of crawl errors if the indexation of the site is going down and you come in here and there's something going on it gives you a gives you a place to start researching further as to what might be going on or what might be some of your problems um, you know some of your time can look at it too if you're trying to see how much uh, bandwidth is Google sucking up from your site you know you can look in here again it's it's a general health note we don't use it a whole lot I would say with our audits and stuff like that more of the troubleshooting so next up on the list is blocked URLs um, generally speaking this stuff's gonna come from your robots.txt so on here they're going to show you how many you got when it was last downloaded and your status of course if you <laughs> managed to find it or not uh, as you can see here on uh, SNC we've got a whole bunch of different uh, do uh, basically directories that we've blocked um, and of course you can sit in here and you can test some stuff um, and there's various user agents obviously they don't have anything else but Google ones so if you're going to test things against Bing obviously you're going to have to go over there 
Um, but it's neat. You can test against mobile, image search, and a, f and a few other things. So it's kind of neat. You can actually do that. Always handy. But the main idea here is, again, you're comparing it to other health things, and other items. If you're having issues on the site, you know, with, or even pages that aren't getting indexed properly and things of that nature, you can come in here. <laughs> and, of course, make sure that to, indeed it's not blocked by robots, that Google's picking up your robots and picking up the proper one. Uh, fairly straightforward stuff. Again, uh, if you don't uh, know what you're doing with robots, be a little careful or seek help. So the next one's going to be uh, Fetch as Google Bot. Um, again, we're in the health section, so this this is kind of handy. Uh, again, if you're having problems, or you, let's say you got a page, you're not sure if it's coming up, or you want to see how Google's actually seeing it, this will essentially tell you what Google sees when it comes to the page. You can uh, use smartphone, external. There's a few options. Um, you can test this. You know what I mean? If you want to see maybe how much white space you have above the fold, what your first hundred k of content is. Um, Another thing you can actually use it for is uh, hacking. Let's say uh, somebody's done a, a hacking element that when you go to the page, you don't see it, but when Googlebot does, it does see it. So you might want to use this if you're having some sort of uh, issues with the site on that level even. You can fetch that page and see how Google looks at it. So it's something handy. All right, next on the list here is index status. Uh, total index obviously is going to be your total pages indexed. Uh, being a health check, what you're looking for, obviously, as long as you're adding content, um, is that this keeps going up. Obviously, you know, if it starts to drop off, means you could have all kinds of different issues. Um, we'll get that into that more on the website, but uh, you want to watch that. Well, good thing to compare is you're blocked uh, by robots. Total index. Now, now this won't always be like what you would see in maybe a site search because. Uh, Google does apparently remove dupl duplicates, uh, canonicals, and, and things of that issue would actually be taken uh, away from this number. So that's something to bear in mind whenever you're looking at it. You've got ever crawled, removed, you can update if you want. They, they took the good one out a while ago, so sadly, meaning the ones that Google was ignoring, they felt we didn't <laughs> understand that da data. Uh, ever crawled, again, give you an idea, you know, is, is your crawl rate going up? Is your crawl rate going down? What is Google doing with the site? Um, again so something we look at something we watch it's kind of a glance over thing uh, as you're going along doing your health checks you don't uh, you don't dig in unless there's something to actually be worried about in the, in, in the instance of looking at this stuff and next and last but not least I guess is malware um, pretty simple <laughs> You have no malware warnings. Well, look at that. It's great. Um, another tool, actually, is a the safe browsing diagnostic tool from Google, which is actually probably a little handier, especially when you're checking out other people's sites and you don't have access to the webmaster tools. But it uh, gives you a little more detailed report. Um, you know, just, just search for the safe browsing tool, and you'll see it here. It'll tell you anything they found in the last 90 days or exactly where stuff's coming from. Again, you can use this uh, tool to analyze your site as uh, well as others. So good for the old toolbox. And again, folks, these are just some short videos, uh, trying to keep them under the 10-minute mark just to give people a sense of what's going on. Uh, be sure, if you're a Dojo member, drop by the study hall, and we'll have complete descriptions with these videos and further details from various uh, input from various members and chat sessions we've had. If you're not a member, well, what the heck are you doing? Come on by SEOTrainingDojo.com, sign up today, and uh, we'll see you soon.